Yakura Muja, Tomodamanga, Ganlian, Waka, Yari, Biami, Morona Yembana, and Gartha Neil. Respect and love to the beautiful land, moon, creator, and ancestor spirits of Yoda Yoda country. Yoda Yoda Yembana, Yakura Muja Danam, Wuta Maloga, Gaura Waka, Yoda Yoda people, respect all plants of the Sand Hill country, which is a ceremonial country on the Yorta Yorta landscape. Yorta Itchamurcha Danam Yakapna Banyama Yorta Itchamurch Waka Yorta Itchamurch Nyambana Healthy plant families make healthy country which makes healthy community of your Teota people. The flower of a silver bank ship. getting landholders and communities involved in the project. Part of the ecosystem. It's been a really good response. germination of banks here is going in the in the nursery here at your arboretum. Look they they are germinating well but they're a really slow species to germinate so we sow them at different times we've tried different techniques but really I think the main the main guts of it is that it's they're slow to germinate so we just have the tray sitting and over time you know 20 30 40 50 at a time will come up. Are we wasting our time on this species Kathy? Look, it's a challenging one because I reckon with changing climate, these are becoming more and more marginalised, particularly on the low country. But I do think that they are a critical plant in the landscape for their nectar producing benefits. I think that it's worth giving it a shot. We are looking at a ground swell of people to get behind this project uh, from the community. Kim? What's your plan? Um, we have land care groups, schools, um, we've <laughs> also got lots of landholders right across the catchment that are um, getting involved in this and um, it's just spreading really well. Um, people telling their neighbours and other people in their community about it and people are just all jumping on board. It's been a really good response. Silver Banks has been part of that project over it's, time? It's been a, almost a signature plant really for us. For Atrep, because the creek being called the Honeysuckle Creek, the Honeysuckle is the old timer's name for the Banksia marginata, the silver Banksia. So we just we figured that it was it was one of the plants that we had to re-establish because there were none there at all. They had, they'd been long gone by the time mm. the project started. And what's your thoughts on the silver Banksia past distribution? Do you think in the old days before clearing? Well, my understanding from early records of explorers, journals and notes, early settlers and early surveyors, that the banks here, or the honeysuckle, it was often referred to in these early references, was widespread and scattered across much of this district. Have you had many successes with those silver banks over the years? or? How have you found them establishing? They've been difficult to establish and our priority has been to put them right on the creek, at the top of the creek bank, to give them the best access to water that they can get because I feel that that's been the limiting factor. And even plants that we've had in for a number of years and thought were established died in long, the long dry periods that we've had. But we're persisting and we have had some that have we've managed to keep on and this latest lot of plantings we've done in the last year or so we've been particularly um, keen to 
to keep watering them and get them through to a period that we hope they're established. But generally difficult, yeah. Tell us about this. You've, um, what was your motivation for this project in the first place? How long ago was it? Well, we would have started in 2000, and so I knew it was an endangered species and thought it would be a nice project just to go along and help. The perfect sandy site you've got here too, which you think that's probably helped? Yeah, it's beautiful soil, and they seem to do very well on the sandy area. I did plant some further behind us in the wetter area, which um, would stay wet over winter if we have a lot of rain, and I've lost those plants, so they obviously don't like to be inundated with water for too long and the plants on this nice sandy rise have done really well. Um, we're really happy with them, we're amazed that they've grown so quickly because these ones have been in for... 2013 this, this well one done. was planted. And so we wanted to vegetate the creek and we were talking to um, friends because we belong to the um, Honeysuckle Recreation Environment Project which has been planting along the creek in the recreation area. And I've noticed that you've mulched around the plants. Do you think that's had a, a good effect with the survival rates that you've had? Yeah, I think the, the mulch has been terrific. Um, over there you can mm. see the mulch a bit better, but um, yeah, and we have watered them. They've been watered uh, uh, three times this season. Uh, during over the, summer. Over the yeah, very once hot. once it got dry. Once January, it really February. got hot. Um, but they've responded well. They yeah. have and... Um, and it yeah, really holds the water in. It's fantastic. Yeah. So they're planted in a depression. So the moisture could sit there at least. Yeah. 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 Now these are the ones we planted last year, so... Um, 2013. They're doing very well. well Creek Honeysuckle was the original name of the silver bank system, so it, it sort of has that extra little bit of impetus along this creek. But we've got this land, and it's not ours. Um, any, any of our land, even though we might hold the title to it, it's something we're just passing down to generations down the track. So I, I, I just have a belief that it's our responsibility, if we've got any land, is to try and bring it back to how it was. And the more people that could get on, then the better off we are. It's not difficult, you put them in, uh, you put the guards on and you've got to water them a bit, but you don't have to look after them, nor, nor should you, because in a natural state that's, they weren't looked after like that. So um, I'm quite happy to plant them. I enjoy planting trees, and it's my little contribution to trying to turn things back a bit. And I put the, these ones in probably about a year ago, and they've endured pretty tough conditions with the dryness of the last sort of two months. This summer's been particularly dry. And, uh, but generally speaking, be very happy how they've grown. Mm -hmm.